Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon Dallitzing and welcome back to a brand new most amazing top 10 video. Let me start off asking you, what do you do in your spare time? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm interested to know. Are you guys gamers? Do you go out? Do you have hobbies? If you guys want to know what I'm up to on a daily basis, I've been doing daily vlog videos. A lot of you guys know that. You guys can click right over here if you guys want to check that out. My life has been so crazy lately. The ups, the downs, going to the hospital every single day, traveling the world. And we're going to be starting like this family vlog channel. Like we're going to convert it into a a family vlog channel where yeah well you guys will see you guys are gonna have to go over there check it out land in vlogs and I'll make sure to put the link in the description below we also have big announcements on the vlog channel so make sure you guys head over there so let's get right into this this is the top 10 people who just have way too much time on their hands I wish that's my problem starting us off number 10 with a whiteout have you guys tried to use whiteout tape it is extremely frustrating to use because it never glides on smoothly it's always breaking it never works well this person they must have had a lot of patience and skill because they put white out on an entire banana. Who would have even think to do something like this? Why are you wasting so much time? You should probably pay more attention in school and not spend your hour wasting your lunch, like putting a white out on your banana. You try to turn your yellow banana to white banana? We you trying to resell it for a higher price? Rapunzel toilet paper comes in at number nine. Take a look at this toilet paper. I mean, this person must have had a lot of long poops because they braided both toilet paper rolls. And this is a public bathroom. I wouldn't want to spend that much time with my butt touching a public seat. I, I hate it. Like, buddy, if you want to braid some toilet paper, do it, do it at home. Better yet, find a friend and use your braiding skills on them not on their toilet paper on their freaking hair up next number eight we have jello shots making jello shots can be time consuming it's a long process you have to boil the water gotta mix the gelatin in there with the hot water you gotta put cold water it's a very difficult thing for me guys well this person must have had a lot of extra time in their hands because they decided to make jello shots and make it look like bill cosby even though bill cosby's reputation is destroyed now i'm still very impressed with this portrait this is a pretty skillful and i think they should have picked a better celebrity like Ed Sharon or something maybe I would like it just a little bit more I definitely wouldn't pick like Bill Cosby to be the first person I'd want to create out of jello crazy ball pit comes into number seven some kid organized this ball pit by color my OCD really appreciates this kid you know I got respect for you buddy for some reason I really enjoy this picture but I think this must have been a group effort because the balls would just be kept getting messed up if other kids were playing in it or maybe it was done by a lonely parent who just needed to organize this ball pit that's just gonna get messed up so damn quickly pie makes it way into number six this is the craziest pie that I've ever seen you have to appreciate this kind of talent I think I would be too tempted to eat this pie I would probably put 3.14 and just stop right there and then grab a slice this funny person had time to kill but I guess they must have enjoyed decorating pie because this probably took a very long time maybe next time they should just decorate a cupcake it would take way less time now at number five hold the seeds this person clearly loves strawberries but they hate the floss they took the time to remove all of those tiny little seeds to enjoy their tiny strawberries but you know what I bet it was the best strawberry they ever had because I hate biting into it and you get all these seeds and the texture is just and yeah you gotta like floss after that pencil stacks this way into number four this guy is attempting the impossible he is in the middle of stacking a bunch of pencils on top of each other and take a look at his foundation if you're gonna commit to stacking pencils you need to make sure that you have a strong foundation I mean those pencils are ready to fall at any moment but I don't think I'm gonna ever accomplish anything as impressive as this Frosty the snowman's family reunion comes in at number three making a snowman is pretty fun and it makes the holiday season more festive but this has gone too far it really makes you wonder how long it took them to make all of these snowmen they even have individual facial expressions they could have made an epic igloo or something but no they decided to make miniature snowmen with their precious time wasted change comes in to number two Alright guys, this person has some serious time on their hands and apparently a lot of change as well This is pretty cool But I would rather take my change to the bank and you know cash in for some bills some dollar bills Yo or spend it on something cool. I don't think I would have spent any time stacking it like this It must have been so frustrating if the coins fell I would be so tempted to just you know what I give up and just boom just knock it over number one brings us to banana Vader This person decided to combine their three passions together bananas Star Wars and arts. Who would have known you could mix those three together? This is some pretty awesome skills here. Think about it. Bananas are so mushy and soft. This person must have had a lot of patience and self-control. I would have been so tempted to just, you know, just give up. It seems like I would give up a lot, guys. But I would just give up and just eat this banana, call it a day. And then I would join the dark side. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a whole lot of fun, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.